Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to come on here and share with you guys my Sephora VIB sale haul. So I have quite a few products to share with you guys here, so it's going to be a long video. But first I wanted to say that I, this is a collaboration type of video that I'm, share, I'm doing today with my friend here on YouTube. Her name is Amber Anderson. She also picked up a lot of products during the sale, so I wanted you to go ahead and check out her Sephora VIB sale haul because I know she picked up some different products than I did. So it might give you some ideas if you're looking for some ideas for Christmas. You can see some things that I picked up and then maybe I've used a couple of these things but not everything and then you can see what she picked up also. So I will have her channel linked below so if you'd like to go check out her video I'm sure she would definitely appreciate that and just tell her I said hello. So let's get into this big haul because I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys so let's get started. We'll do with start with the in-store part that I picked up. So let's see what all I got here. So the first item I picked up is the Sephora Favorites Skin Wonderland. This is a Sephora Inside JCPenney it's an exclusive type of item. So it's got a ton of different products in here. You've got something from Fresh, you've got Ole Hendrickson, you've got Shiseido, Bosha, Peter Thomas Roth, you've got Bumble and Bumble, you've got Glam Glow, you've got Josie Moran, you've got Origins, Kate Somerville, Kate Somerville, you've got First Aid Beauty, and we've got Corez. So we've got a ton of products in this little package here. I'll show you a little bit closer so you can see everything that came inside. And as you can tell, the price on this was $42 with a $166 value. So it's got a lot of different products that you can try out for your skin. And if you guys are not familiar with my channel, I have been really getting into skincare lately because I really think that skincare comes before makeup because your skin, if it doesn't look good, your makeup's not going to look quite as good. So in, plus then if you have good skin, then you don't have to wear quite as much makeup, which is really good for some days when you just don't want to wear makeup, which most of the days is me, honestly. I don't wear makeup every day, so I like to get a lot of skincare products that can help kind of make my skin look better without makeup. So this is a pretty cool kit. I will be doing a complete review on this on my channel, so if you'd like to see a review on that, stay tuned because I will do a review and let you guys know how these products are and whether or not I'd recommend picking up this kit or picking up anything inside of this kit. The next thing is this, hang on, <laughs> it's falling apart here. This I've already done a review on on my channel, so I will have the review to this linked below. This is the Sephora Favorites, the Kissentials. This has a bunch of lip products inside of here that are like deluxe sizes. There is one full size product in here. The full size product is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Baca. I think that's how you pronounce it. So that is the full size product in here. When you open it, it did have some little black wormy things in there and I pulled them out. Whoop, I almost dropped all of them. So there are all the lip products that you get in here. But like I said, I will have a my video that I've done on this I already linked below. So if you'd like to go check that out, then feel free to. The next thing I picked up in store was the Bare Minerals Nude and Nice Mini Gen Nude Lip Matte Liquid Lip Color Trio. So there's three different lip products in here and you've got Wink, Infamous, and Juju inside of here. So I haven't tried a whole lot of these mini gen, or not the mini, but the gen nude type of lip products. I've only tried one so far and I really did enjoy that one. So I wanted to try some more and I thought this was a great way to do it because it's only $18 with a $27 value. So I love little sets like this. The next thing I picked up in store was the Sephora Favorites Pout Perfectors. This is a lip priming and prepping and plumping essentials. This is another exclusive to JCPenney's. And this is $25 with a $72 value. So I will be doing a review on this also because I really think some of these items in here are quite interesting. I've already tried out most of the products in here and I can tell you the Glam Glow Plump Rageous Matte Lip Treatment thing that's inside of here is pretty amazing. I mean, it, if you think the, the Too Faced one, they have the Too Faced, the, I think it's called Lip Injector. If you think that one's potent, this one is way more potent. I'll be honest with you. It's very, very strong on your lips. But I will do a complete review on this, so if you would like to see that, just stay tuned. So that is everything that I purchased in store, so now we're going to get to the items that I purchased online. So I have two boxes here to share with you guys, so we're going to actually start with the small box, possibly. Actually, we're going to set the small box over here, and we'll come back to that one because I feel like I need to get this big one out of the way. So let's see what all we've got here. So the first thing I picked up, oh my gosh, there's so much to share to be honest with you guys. This is going to be a long, long video. I may have to end up splitting it up or you guys may just have to eat your dinner while you're watching this video. Sorry guys. So the first thing I picked up is the Marc Jacobs Undercover 
Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. I have not tried this out yet, but I know that I've heard some really great things about this primer because it's a very nice hydrating primer. And I have dry skin, so I look for things that are very hydrating for my skin. So I'm excited to try this out. If you've ever tried this out, let me know what you feel about it. If you think it's a good one, you think it's a bad one, let me know what you think about it. The next thing I picked up is a Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. And I picked up the shade Medium 54 Cool. If you guys are familiar with my Sample Sunday series, then you probably saw where I sampled this out. And this was actually my perfect shade. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick up my right shade. Because right now I have two other shades. And they're not exact. Like, they're, there's one that's good for the summer. One that's good for, like, the dead of winter. This one's good for, like, right now. So, and I really do like this foundation. But I liked it the best when I paired it with this product. Which is the Kat Von D Lock It Hydrating Primer. So I picked this up also and I really, really love this primer. This primer is really amazing, especially mixed with the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. When you put these two together, it's like magic. And I don't know how they did it, but you put it on for me. I don't typically like a foundation that's a full coverage because I feel like it's so cakey, especially on my dry skin. But when I use these two in combination, it does not get cakey whatsoever. My skin looks almost flawless and I've never, I don't really say that about my skin very often because my skin is not flawless. I have a lot of acne scars, so using these two in combination works really, really well together, so I'm excited to use these. The next thing I picked up is a little 500 point perk thing, and it's the Murad AHB, what is this called? It's just a Murad Instant Effects little set. So here's the little 500 point perk set. So this is pretty cool because I've heard some great things about Murad. So and this is a great way to try them out to look, so I can know whether or not I actually want to start using products from this line because I've heard good things. And I've heard bad things. I do have the Murad Cleanser, which honestly, I, at first I was like, I don't really like it. Now, actually, I've grown to actually love that cleanser. That cleanser is probably my favorite cleanser that I've owned, I own right now. But this is a really cool set because you get a eye lifting firming treatment. You get an exfoliating cleanser. You get a moisturizer and you get a rapid collagen infuser, infusion. Sorry. So that comes everything. That's everything that comes in that little kit right here. The next thing I picked up is this Besame Brightening Setting Powder. So this is a trio of powders. You get a vanilla rose, a vanilla, and a violet. So these are supposed to be like color correcting powders. I have not tried these yet, but I've heard really great things about Besame. And I know Besame is one of, one of those brands that's a little bit more, they kind of make their products look a little more like the classic style packaging. So I'm really excited to have this sitting on my vanity, but just because I think it's very classy looking. So I'm excited to use this, try it, and see how it works. If you'd like to see a review on that, also let me know because I can definitely do that. The next product I picked up is the Josie Moran Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation Fluid. And I picked up the shade G55, which is adventurous. So I've tried this out again on my Sample Sunday series and I really, really do love it. Let me open this up so you can see what it looks like. I probably should have opened the other foundations. You know, I just don't want to make this video super long because there's so much stuff to go through. Uh, I just want you to see this bottle because I just think it's really, really pretty. It's very... I don't know, like watercolor-ish. So I'm really excited to have this because I felt like when I use this, it's very hydrating on my skin. And I know during the winter months, my skin's gonna get drier. It's already very, very dry. My hands are dry, my lips are dry, so I'm sure my skin's next. So I'm excited to have that. The next thing I picked up is this Bite Agave Lip Mask. So I'm sure you guys probably saw on my Sephora my wish list. I was hoping to get this and I actually did because I really was excited when I tried it. It feels so good on your lips. It's very hydrating and nourishing. So I'm excited to have this now that my lips are so, so dry that they need something to help them like plump them back up because they're already starting to split down the middle. They're cracking and they're peeling. So this is a really good lip product. The next product I picked up is this. It was a kit and it came in this little bag here. Here's the bag that it came in. And then you got a bunch of different products. So you can pick out your products. So I picked out the dry, the detox dry conditioner. This is the shampoo by Dry Bar. This is a dry shampoo by Dry Bar. So I'm excited to try this out. I've never tried too many products from Dry Bar. If you've ever tried a whole lot from Dry Bar, let me know your thoughts on it. Because I know I've heard some great things. And I think Tati is probably the first person I actually heard talk about Dry Bar. Then I picked up the Caudalie Micellar Cleansing Water. So this is supposedly made with something from like grapes or like wine or something like that. So I'm excited to try this out and see how good this is for my skin because I really do enjoy my cellar cleansing waters. I think they work really well on my skin. Then in that kit also, I picked out the Tidal Brightening Enzyme by Sunday Riley. So here's a little bitty Tidal Brightening Enzyme thing. I want to see what this bottle looks like to be honest with you because, oh, it's a little jar. So there's the little jar. 
So I'm excited to try that. I really do like Sunday Riley. Sunday Riley has some amazing skincare products. I feel like their skincare is the best that I've ever tried. Honestly, I went and bought, I'll show you the next thing after this. You'll see. The next thing that I picked in that kit is the Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. I have really been liking some of the Living Proof products I had tried out. I know some of them before I felt like were a little peppery scented, but I'm hoping this one is not. Let's go ahead and give it a whiff. Uh, it's not too, it smells pretty good actually. It smells clean. So I'm hoping that'll be a good one for my hair. We've got a lot of samples in here too, guys, so we'll get to those last. Okay, so then the next thing I picked up, I picked up two of these, and I've already opened one. One's actually sitting on my vanity behind me, and it's the Sunday Riley Power Couple Kit. So I picked up, this is the Good Jeans, and the, which is the all-in-one lactic acid treatment, and the Luna Retinol Ester Sleeping Night Oil. This stuff is amazing. If you have skin that has acne issues, where you have scarring going on your skin, or if you have sunspots, and you need something to kind of correct that, this is amazing. It's good for dry skin. I've had friends that have oily skin that love it. I feel like this is a really, really amazing product. I know it's high end, like it's a little pricey. Because for this kit here, each one is half an ounce. This was $85. But if you bought this in the full size, which is one ounce, it's $105 a piece. So technically, if you buy two kits, you're saving money that way too, plus your 20% off that you got during the Sephora VIB sale. So I did pick up two of these kits. The next product I picked up is the... Lan no, not Lancome. The Loctane Hand Cream Delights. So this is four little hand creams. I did take one of them out. As you can see, one's upside down. I did a great job putting it back. I just kind of wanted to see what they smell like, and they're very light. They're not a very strong scent, so I'm hoping these will be nice for my hands because my hands do get very, very dry. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but like where they're red, they're just super, super dry. I have, I think it's because I wash my hands too much, to be honest with you, so that's neither here nor there. Hand cream always usually helps, so hopefully this will be a good one. The next thing I picked up is this little Viseart or Visart, however you pronounce it. It's the Professional Makeup Paris. This is the, which one is this? I don't even know what it's called, to be honest with you. I've heard good things and I've heard bad things about Viseart, so I know it's a very expensive palette. This is an $80 palette, to be honest with you, and it's so small, so you would think it better be good, honestly. So here's what it looks like on the inside. This is the natural zero one natural matte palette so there's what it looks like i just think those colors are super pretty and i really love that orange tone in the middle right there that one there's really attracting me so i'm hoping this is good like i said i've heard good and bad if you'd like to see a review on this for me to do maybe a demo on it i can definitely do that all for doing demos on on eyeshadow palettes because i feel like that's one of those things that it's hit or miss sometimes because some palettes are really amazing and some are just not so good i've gotten some not so good ones recently so we can do a demo if you'd like. Okay, so the rest in there is samples and this right here. I picked up the Paracone Vitamin C E Vitamin C Ester 15. This says it promotes brighter, firmer, and smoothing looking skin. It says it's got 15% vitamin C ester, and this is uh, four of these. You get four little containers in here. And here's what they look like. So there's the little container. I know you just use these at nighttime. You do not use these in the daytime. I have not tried this out yet, so I cannot t verify whether or not it's a good product or it's a bad product. I just know that I saw it and it had really good reviews and it was a pricey product, so I was like, I'm gonna pick it up. Oh wait, this came in that other kit, the little kit that I picked out earlier. This was another product that I picked, picked out for that. This is the Ren Clean Skin Care. This is the Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. So here's a little Ren mask that I'm gonna be testing out to see how good it is. And then the rest is samples or point perks. So two point perks I picked up is two Stila Huge Mascaras. I know I heard some people say that the Stila Huge Mascara doesn't work as good in the full size as it did in the like deluxe size. So instead of purchasing a full size, I went ahead and picked up two point perks so I could get these because I really do love that mascara. It's very, very nice. I'm actually wearing that mascara today on my eyes. Not those specific ones. It's one that I already have. So now let's go ahead and show you the samples that I got besides the little perfume packs because we got quite a few of those. I got a bunch of perfume packs, which those are just like the kinds on the card. I don't particularly like that kind of samples. Then I have the Living Proof Style Lab Set and Hair Serum. So all these samples will be going into my Sample Sunday series. If you are interested in seeing any of these samples be used, that's where you'll find them. Unless it's for a man, which I think this one might be. This is Burberry Brit Rhythm. I think that might be a man's cologne. So if it is, it won't be going in. It'll just be given to one of my kids or my husband. The next one is the Terry de Hermes. What is this? This is a perfume. So here's a little perfume sample. 
and there's what the front looks like. Again, I think some of these may be men's colognes, so they won't make it to the Sample Sunday series. Then I have a Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil High, Ultra Hydrating Body Butter. Here's a little sample. Then I have the Tatcha Pure One Step Camila Cleansing Oil sample. So we'll be testing that one out. And then I have the, what is this? Josie Moran Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. So there's another sample. <laughs> We've got tons of samples for the Sample Sunday series now. Uh, we've got another Tatcha, oh no, this is a Tatcha Polished Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. I saw this actually on Costco recently, and I wish I would have purchased it there because now it's not there anymore, and it was a really good deal. So hopefully I don't love this because then I'll be kicking myself in the tush for not getting it when, it, when I could have gotten it for a great deal. Um, this is a Lancome Lay, so what is this? The Smoothing and Glow Boosting Liquid Care. So here's a little Lancome product. And then we have another Josie Moran Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. And then I have a Sephora Cream Lingerie. This is an instant moisturizer plus cream, it says. So there's a little sample from Sephora brand. And then I have the Clinique Super Primer Color Correcting for Redness, which is good because I do have some redness on my skin. So that'll be a great one to test out. And then the last sample in this box is the Makeup Forever Professional Paris Ultra HD Foundation. So this is just a little foundation sample, which I've already tried this. So I'm actually just going to put this for my next giveaway because I usually do some giveaways with my Sample Sunday series. So if you're wanting to try some products out, you might want to check out that Sample Sunday series because I do give away a lot of samples because I can't really review a sample twice. So I just kind of review one. If I have duplicates, I give those away. So now we're on to the last box here. In the last box, I have the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peels. So it's a step one, step two uh, peeling system here. And this is 60 treatments. So I went ahead and got the mega size because I figured, well, I'm getting the 20% off. That was the best time to pick this up. And I had heard so many great things about it. And I checked out the reviews on it and they looked amazing. So I will be using these for the next while because there's 60 in here and I probably won't use them every day because this is extra strength and I don't want to damage my skin. I just want to make it make sure that it's looking as the best that it possibly can. So that's why there's a lot of skincare products in this haul. The next product is the Clarins Double Serum. This is a hydro hydric lipic system. It's a complete age control concentrate. So this is another product that I saw some really great reviews on. So I'm hoping this is really good. I actually looked up a couple of videos and people were raving about it, so I want to try this out also. I know there's a lot of skincare. I'm probably going to be skincared out. I won't need to buy any skincare for a while. Then the last makeup item I picked up is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. I pulled this out of the box just because I wanted to see what it looked like. I'll give you guys a peek of it because actually it's really gorgeous. The packaging is super pretty. The packaging is like textured and then it's got this raised little gemstones on the front. It's very, very pretty. And then when you open it, you have all these gorgeous shadows inside. Look at those shadows. They are so pretty. I really, really love the way this palette looks. This reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D palette that she had came out with. And she had, I think it was called the Mi Vida Loca, and I missed that last year. So I was not going to miss this one, so I ended up picking it up. But I will do a little test on that to let you guys know whether or not it's worth getting if you'd like to see that. Now we have some more samples and then that is it. So we've got four samples here, actually one more point perk and I'm sure you can guess what the point perk was. It's another Stila Huge Mascara, so I have an extra mascara, so we have tons of those now. Then we have the Kula Light to Medium BB Cream, here's a little BB Cream by Kula. And then I have another Tatcha One Step Camila Cleansing Oil. And then the last sample is another Lancome the Smoothing and Glow Boosting Liquid Care. So here's another sample. So I have tons of samples to use. I have tons of skincare to use. I didn't get as much makeup as what I probably could have, but honestly, I wanted to do more, focus more on skincare during the sale because that's something that's very, very pricey. So when I can get that 20% off, I felt like that was a great time to do it. Let me know what did you guys pick up during the sale? What kind of deals did you find? Did you get some skincare? Did you get makeup? Did you get a little of both? I'd love to hear what you picked up. And other than that, that is my Sephora Via Beat sale haul and I'd love for you to go check out Amber's video because I'm sure she would appreciate you to come and say hello. So thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later.